This one. How are you kids out there watching? And yeah, when you get hyped up about a game, this was the original, just super crazy hype pre-release game ever, ever, ever. It had a fucking movie. We didn't have YouTube trailers. We had to go pay money and go to a movie theater and wait till the end of the goddamn movie to see two seconds of this fucking game. No warp whistles. This is just, just amazing. Feels so good. I do think World has the slight edge, but goddamn, this isn't still amazing. with your YouTubes, watching trailers on your phone. I had to go to AMC at Oak Park Mall to see this game in action before it came out. You kidding me? Damn kids. Okay, hang on, we gotta try to hit it right at the corner. Get that start! Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Tickle bits. Let's go longer. It takes a while for the bets to come in. Uh, Tickle Bits wants to set a bet up. Let's do a bet. Will I die before the next full loop? And that includes three levels, actually six levels of lost levels, and then another three to nine after this set. You know what I mean? So we're on loop one right now. So will Dan die by the end of loop two? That'll be a good bet. I'm gonna play the way I would play normally, so. Hmm. Mm hmm. Lost levels, I don't know. Time waffle. Yeah. Get your bets in. Hmm. Hmm. be nine levels, but keep in mind, it's not the numbers. God, the thing I read... I, I can't remember if it was counting stuff like the, uh, the bonus games and stuff. Hmm. That means falling down a hole, that means anything. Beep, beep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Deal. Excellent. I don't think so, True Blue. Dot, 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 dot. Love the star in this game because you do the cool cartwheel. And it's not will I get hit, it's will I die? Will I lose a life? It's a cartwheel. Hell yeah. Legit way better of a burger than I expected. Best burger at McDonald's, I only get quarter pounders.
I know it doesn't do this often, but every airship and thing up here, I always jump around over there to hopefully get a, a bonus. Stop! Shit! Too late! I jumped too late. I'm gonna go careful on lost levels. Let me see who's uh, voting for me here. Will Dan die? Blue. Blue says yes. All right. So everyone blue in the chat. I know you're voting against me. Hate auto scroll. Watch Dreamcast logos in the sky. Whip whip. I think I can safely say, if I'm almost 40 and loving these games uh, that I've been playing for over 30 years, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of these games. I don't know how that's possible at this point. I just love every time I've ever played these. Hello, Max. Weep, weep! Unknown, you're betting heavy on me not dying? Damn. I don't think this counts as a level, so I'm gonna say I've done five levels now. whistle but not use it that works right I think that shows even more restraint frankly I love the gimmick levels too the ghost houses and stuff oh, man I like the way these fireballs look those things I always thought were like cool hologram things they remind me of holographic baseball cards Six. It really doesn't matter if I'm off or if I miscount one time because we're going to get to the end of all of them anyway. Hmm. Queen Ash Gaming got Death's Door. Seriously. Anyone playing it? Let me know in the chat what you think of it after you start it. I am over the moon of that game. Title songs. Losing the Neon's Planet. You know, I could see it being a pretty good, like, podcast or watching a stream in another tab game. Um, that said, make sure you play it a little bit, at least, with the sound and everything on, because the soundtrack, my god, it's great. 
I think it's just on Xbox and PC. That's not typically what you see. Ah, start doesn't matter now. But I'll get it anyway. Did I miss Mario Maker? I have mean, my time with it, for sure. I could see myself doing more at some point in the future, but it's daunting. It's just such a long process, especially the way I do it. Is that seven? Maybe I'll just beat this world. Well, wait, seven. Yeah, maybe I'll beat this world and then end it. And lost levels. Beep, beep. Pretty much, if I'm not underwater, I'm never gonna want the flower over the tail. Damn it. Not that it matters. Not that this matters. Not that anything matters, really. Ever play Mario Cat to completion? Absolutely not. I think I showed a few friends that in college for a laugh, and I don't know if anyone even got past the first level, really. About time for another barrier. Okay, the master says 90 is real levels, so I'm doing it right. Excellent. by Wendy's lately. Last few times I've got on a treat stream, it's always delivered. Katie! Good to see ya! See you next week! Yeah, Robot Roll Call. Uh, definitely check out Death Store. It's very... It's, it's a Zelda-like, I would say. But I think that's almost like underselling it. I think there are some Zelda-likes that are like by-the-book Zelda-like, like a Blossom Tales or something like that, whereas Death's Door is uh, very much got its own thing going on. But it's also got the like, there's kind of dungeon type things. There's a lot of exploration and secrets. You collect four of one thing to get your health up. You get four of one thing to get your magic <clears throat> up. You know, it's got Zelda stuff going on. Zelda-inspired is a good way to put it. Kylo, one year of subscribing. Thank you so much. Very doy game, yes, but the writing, when it is talky, is is brief and extremely, it's good. It, it's funny, It's I really, really like it a lot. Uh, Nate, no spoilers, but I've beaten the second, like, great spirit. Um, so I've gone through kind of the, the watery area. Got a couple weapons, a bunch of shiny things. a level? It's a dog! By the way, two of the five bird eggs uh, at the house here have hatched. They are extremely tiny little birds. Uh, it's amazing to see them. Uh, Linda and Delson have been born. They are very, very tiny. 
Uh, it's uh, really cool to see. They're very, very, very tiny. his tail. Eh, no. Probably better for the boss, but I like the air control. I like the shading on these uh, cannonballs. The shading effect. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Do this shit. Oh, shit! Had it from below, but not the side. I'm a... I'm just a straight-up asshole. Catch it? Are we gonna catch it? Are we gonna catch it? Yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah. You're welcome. Okay, help me count these levels here. We're not gonna count Hammer Brothers, we're not gonna count bonus stages or Toad Houses, so help me count. I'm gonna try to do nine. Here we go. Oh, I like this level. I like the spotting these. Oh, this, this is just a delight. Oh, and then after a bunch of this, I gotta go back to two rounds of fucking Three or uh, one bullshit. Three lost levels. Cartwheels. Let's do it. Oh yeah, this one. It's weird seeing the big coins that don't rotate. That. Oh wait, I can't! Huh. Oh man, the sun's gonna be here in a bit. That's no good. Okay. Count them! One. Did I finish Ratchet and Clank? Oh, you know what? I hadn't even thought of it. I'm actually the very last, like, in the thing where you talk to uh, the big guy and it's like, Oh, are you sure you have everything together? And I was like, okay, I'll save here and I'll collect everything before I do the final mission. And I actually have not gotten back to it. Much more into Death Store right now. Alright, so that was one. Thank you, Figment. Sun? Oh, this is the sun one, isn't it? Shit, it is. Is it? Idiot. Patient. I always just hated waiting for that thing to go across. Out of nine, done. What do I have here? I got a P wing. Classic thwomp. The first thwomp. First time we saw a thwomp, I think. Also, thwimp. They debuted together. And boo! Right? Thwomp, Thwimp, and Boo all debuted here. Dry Bones. 
Mario 3. What a game. What do we got going on here? Figured it had to be good if it was risky like that. You definitely can't use your tail on a guam. Probably could have sprinted through all this, but that's alright. Dry bones, I don't believe, is in Mario 1, no. And if anyone is thinking like, oh, I know I've seen that before, you might be thinking of Mario Maker. Because they had versions of those characters for the different games in Mario Maker. No, Birdo's not in this one, Nath. There's Boom Boom. Also the debut of Boom Boom, but he's not like a classic character or anything, you know? He's popped up and stuff. Oh, shit. Come on, quit doing that. Okay. I love two. I have a soft spot in my heart for two. This is the best one, though, uh, of the NES ones. And the Koopalings, of course. So for maybe some of the newcomers to the stream, there is a video on the internet of me trying to beat the first world of this video game while riding a roller coaster over and over and over again. Uh, so if you search for Giant Bomb Roller Coaster, you'll see me trying to beat this on a roller coaster. Or the first world, at least. Probably one of my favorite videos I have done. It was near the beginning, Nova. Yeah. So it was a, a video I uh, pitched a lot at Game Informer, and they, got, they told me it was too stupid and didn't let me do it. And I told Gerstman when I started, and he was like, let's do it. I don't know about that. doing some work with Giant Bomb again, Sagewater Dragon, and Backlar and I have recorded the first episode, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Looking forward to more. I learned some stuff in that first episode. Is that a mushroom? I forget what the fuck that was. That's a star. I think this is a mushroom. Fuck, one up. So I gotta remember... Two and four. Two and four next time. Ha! Music box. Any announcements on date for the uh, new Giant Bomb series? That's a, that's a backlog call. I, I recorded it. Did my part. It's on their end now. I don't know their strategy when they're releasing stuff or anything like that. Um, but uh, it is recorded. La rather live in a world with no 3D Zeldas or no 2D Marios. Well, if that counts going forward, the no 2D Marios, because I'm more excited about the future of 3D Zelda than I am 2D Mario. Shit. Kids might need to go to bed here. This might be a little too scary. Shit. Ah! Ah! Give me 
the fuck out of here! Any idea what those loud noises were outside? Question mark. I'm guessing there were a lot of folks with fireworks in this neighborhood uh, around the 4th. I'm guessing uh, there was a surplus. And they had to set them off. <sighs> Owls. Oh my god, we were in the living room uh, with the windows open month or two ago and we heard uh we, it's middle of the night it's like two in the morning and we just started hearing like wow wow and we're just like what the fuck is that this is like woods you know we got we're like we got woods around us and so we just hear shrieking coming from the woods and then we had to look it up and it's like we found out that it's a fox and that foxes sound like screaming women basically when they're afraid and uh so that, that explains it foxes fireworks yes Okay, uh, how many have I done here? Have I heard a dying rabbit yet? No, I hope I never do. Mm, oh man, okay, here. I'm starting to get, uh, feel some drinks in me right now, so I'm wondering how that's gonna help my Lost Levels performance. Look at this shit. You see, kids' games used to have secrets in them! You didn't have to buy microtransactions to, to get fun new stuff. You had to find them and earn them. Back when I was growing up. Five out of ten. Great. Oh, Jesus, pissing that sounds terrible. Is there a live turtle in here? Is it gonna come to life? Or is this just an empty husk? Oh, it's a husk! No, wait, it's the opposite of a husk. It's real. Seven done? Oh, man. All right. You want to see some shit? Watch this shit. You just got to look at this guy. Just wait. This is the first chain chomp, yeah. one in World 5 that does this. Is it just World 5 and not all of them? Ah! I think it might be soon. I'm gonna have to book it. Doesn't it happen? Is this gonna happen? Is it at 150? I gotta go. I gotta go! Okay. 
That's kind of easy to just run through stuff. <laughs> cool secret thing. You know what I'm talking about! You've seen it! Is it a hundred? Oh, it's one. It's gets down to a hundred? Shit. Good choice. Chubby, thank you so much. Not what a mushroom looks like. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ha! Ha! Look at this shit. Watch this. Look, look at how cool this is. Seven out of nine done. All right. That was not a level, no. That doesn't count as one. Don't like being Small Mario. Also, Small Mario looks weird when he's looking straight at the camera. His head's like too wide or something. What? Why did that happen? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait, A is B. What? No. How do I just go back? What's B? What's the real B? Good 
choice. Man, that sucks. Oh, I hate it so much. That kind of thing will be minimized as I keep bringing. I do that. No unknown. Man, that suck. Well, here, now we can use. Eh, I'd have to fight a hammer, brother. I'm in book it mode here. Get me a free pizza. Hoping to have to do this twice. Shit. He's just waiting. Ah! Woo! Woo! No! Let me go! Brutal. Brother. Chubby. Thank you all so much. For the subs. Holy shit. I can't believe I did that. Moving quick, though. Moving quick. Shoe. Making good time. Ugh. Favorite Koopa kid? If you mean Koopaling, um, I like Roy. He's got sunglasses. were the first minions. Hmm. Uh, Katie, I have to play nine, but apparently I have to do it twice here since I loaded an old save. Uh, yeah. All right. So now, do I just have to beat the castle? Is that it? Quack. There we go. 
the fact that there's one called Morton Koopa Jr. is amazing. Spider King. <sighs> this music. Top notch. It's a good point, these people. I don't know. Oh, these levels are so cool. Stressful, but like the good kind of stressful. Yeah, look at this shit. I'm gonna stand here. Eat shit. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna have to play Lost Levels after this. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's... I'll take it. No air control, but I'll take it. I always thought those boxes looked good. I liked any kind of big sprites on the NES. You got some punch-out fighters, you got some big-ass boxes in this. Just a big fan of any of that. Big... Sprites. Give it to me. The fireballs change colors sometimes. We're gonna catch it? We're gonna catch it? Ready? Ready? Here we go, here we go. Yeah! Didn't touch the ground. <sighs> Shit. Alright, what's the what's the uh what's the spread with the, the bat here? Okay, so blue in the chat thinks I'm gonna die. Pink voted for me. Great. Oh, the cloud. Can't use that here. Okay. Oh, crap. Water world. You got a complete inbox for 40 bucks from your local game shop? Damn. Nice. I don't really remember that. Lives trick? Yeah. I, I don't feel the need to do any lives tricks, considering, uh, I'm, I'm just safe stating at the beginning of the levels, but, uh, uh, I feel like showing them off. Oh, these! Forgot about those. Those suck. Like the donuts. Help me track the levels I've done in this one. Man, they're like a hundred bucks online. Fuck. That's a lot. Oh, you got all three NES Marios for a hundred? That's not that bad. Oh, but that was back then. Okay. Hmm. I would 
like the feather and the leaf. Nope. Bertha, Big Bertha's coming up, I know. Not in this level, I don't think. One of the next ones. So the first game really only had Goombas, Koopas, um, Cheep Cheeps. I'm trying to think what else the first one had. The red and the green Koopas. Um... Lakitu, Bloopers, Hammer Bros, Piranha Plants, right, 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 all those. Am I gonna get the frog suit? Yeah! Favorite Mario level of all time? Oh man, I don't know, I couldn't select that. There's so many. All right, I think Big Bertha is in this one. So I think this is not a good frog suit one. Well, I think this is usually the level I did use the frog suit on, considering it's usually the one after you got the frog suit. Yep, there's Big Bertha. It's still terrifying. Oh, God. Love getting uh, the fire flower and taking care of Bertha. Oh, you can do it with this. Yeah! Oh, God. Love getting uh, the fire flower and taking care of Bertha. Oh, you can do it with this. Yeah! Mm. Mm. Yeah! Thank you. I deserve that. And here we go. Let's finish. Look at that. Two kills! 2.0 KD! It's Big Bertha! 3.0! Star! Flower is what I said. Check the tape. Is it three for this world? It's pretty much just gonna be like a world each time, right? Ooh, fancy looking mini fortress. I like it. I think this is one of the gimmick ones. Yeah. Yeah, this one's crazy. Okay, so do you go all the I think it's the second from the end? Boy, if I remember that, that's insane. Okay. Let me see. I could be completely wrong here. It's like the sixth one, maybe? It's either the second from the end or the sixth, I want to say. I'm leaning more towards sixth. Oh, come on. Yep, yeah, not that. I think it's the last one before the next one. Ugh, that's a rough timing thing there. I think it's this one? Okay, I'm getting a little loose with everything. That's the one. Do I have to fight? Oh, I gotta fight Boom Boom like this? this? Sucks. Okay. No! It's a flying one! Hmm. I wonder if we just hang on to the flower, which might be easier said than done. Okay, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if we can finish him off with this. First try. Is that five on this? Oh God, we're getting close to lost levels. No, wait, what's the real B? Why did 
That... That's why. Oh, you can do that cool jump here. You have to do that. Fuck. Right, leave, leave. Oh, these guys. I actually kind of love these things. That, uh, how many is that here? How many we got? One, two, that's Toad House. Three, four, five, done five, done five, okay. Ooh, this would be a good frog suit level if I die here. Mario 3, the first perfect game. I'm trying to think of if it's perfect and if not, why I wouldn't call it perfect. I do call Mario World perfect. But why? Maybe the amount of auto scroll levels in 3? Perfect is a word I use for like Mario World and Link to the Past, basically. Uh, even Breath of the Wild, my favorite game ever, is not a perfect game. I think Mario World and Link to the Past are perfect in that I literally would not change anything about them. Tetris. Tetris is pretty perfect. I kind of think Puzzle Fighter. <laughs> Bonk and I play Puzzle Fighter every day, and it's fun as hell every fucking time. Puzzle Fighter is incredible. Puzzle Fighter is Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, it's with Street Fighter characters and Darkstalkers characters. Gems, matching colors, things like that. Uh, it's incredibly well done. Darkstalkers is a, uh, uh, that is a Capcom fighting game. Money Puzzle Exchanger, that's a good one, that's fun. Two frog suits. Better base. <laughs> okay, so I need to do one more? One more? Let's just get a quick kill since I got, uh, fire. Oh, come on, just come down here. You dickhead. Uh, panel to pawn is great. I completed six out of nine, okay. Thank you, everyone. Helping me keep track. Oh, good. Donut drop auto scroll. A video game ass sentence or phrase to say. I always pictured those as being ice blocks. Did you? Or do you see him as a like glass or something? Good music! Ooh, I'm excited for the ice world. I like the ice world in this game. Uh, 
unnecessary. Ice World is six, I believe. Yeah, because Air is five. Air World's awesome. Oh, and the next one after this is Big Small World. Hell yeah. These games. It's hard to not say Mario is my favorite series ever. Like I always say, my holy trinity is Mario, Zelda, Metal Gear. But fuck, Mario... Like Mario, I can pick up at any time and play pretty much any of the core Good series. Choice. I'm not going to pick up the first Zelda or like Oracle of Seasons. You know, from time to time, I want to play Minish Cap on stream, but uh, not as much as like I literally any time you hand me a controller and put Mario in front of me, I'm going to be happy. Oh, Spike. Barf up those balls. Fucking Mario! <laughs> the way that Kayla just said that, like that's just an actual recording of Kayla reacting to Mario on the screen. <laughs> that is the most genuine sound alert. <laughs> this is bad. Bump and jump. Oh yeah, lazy con. And one more. Alright, cool. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm small, why would I do that? Oh, um, Gramps Hero, are you thinking of Bionic Commando? He says, what was that NES game with a grappling hook? I immediately go to Bionic Commando when you say that. I could be those shorts. Here we go. What? You see that jackass trailer? tube with the spider in it. A lot of stuff going on in that trailer. It looks like pure jackass. That fucking marching band treadmill thing. Geniuses. Picture them from Mario Maker, but I don't think they were. Oh, but Bombs debuted in two? I forget that. They became such a part of like Mario Canon, and so few of them, uh, except from two outside of like Birdo. Birdo and Shy Guys, but the, even there, it's mostly in the, uh... That's interesting! Birdo and Shy Guys show up in the sports games, but ba -bombs debut in two, and they became part of, like, traditional Mario canon. Interesting. I see we got the uh, UPF link in the chat there. Hmm. 
Do we, did we have a bet open about the lost levels this time? We should do that. Oh, ghost ship. There we go. God damn, tickle bits. On the ball. Look at that. Ready to go. Hovering over the, the button. This is not a level. This doesn't count as a level. Paku Bunny. Happy Easter, everyone. I can tell, Tickle Bits. Deadly important, I understand. These were uh, sought after back when I was playing without save states as a kid. But now I got save states. Turns out I don't really need these. Yeah, I'm sure I'll do better at lost levels this time now that we're getting deeper into the game and I'm drunker. Um, that seems like the best case scenario for me beating it. I'm gonna just do a backup one here too. How many have I done here? That last one didn't count. It should be water with Frog Mario. Oh, this seems like a Frog Mario level. Hello, Smashly. I always liked just the, the sprites of when Mario ducks in this one, just holding his hat. You can see the little creases in the hat. See the little round hand holding that hat down. I enjoy that. Good I enjoy choice. these things, too. They're fucking weird looking. Pain in the ass, though. Iron Ring Canada, thank you so much for the Prime subscription! Much appreciated. Bet on each individual level in Lost Levels. That would take a while. Do I have to fight... Oh no, is this gonna be a flying boom boom? I gotta fight small. Oh yeah, it's flying, I see the wings. Oh yeah, this is gonna go great. Do a thing! I think blue moon's great. Yeah, hell yeah. Belgian whites are probably if I if I'm gonna drink for taste, I think Belgian whites are probably my go-to. You got your uh, you got your uh, your blue moons. You got your shock tops. You got your uh, who gardens. I haven't had who garden in forever. Who garden was my favorite for a long time, and I just realized I haven't had who garden in forever. Oh man, I should get more who garden. I feel like I haven't seen it in for forever. Otherwise, I would have gotten it. Look at that shit. Hey Siri, remind me to look for Who Garden. You can imagine Siri just spelled Who Garden perfectly. And I am Belgian. I'm severely Belgian. So uh, I think I'm, I've got a, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, not a taste, there's like a fancier word. Predilection? I've got a disposition, disposition, disposition for liking it probably. Oh, wait. Let's override this one. Someone said, two greatest Belgians, me and Van Damme. So here's the deal. Legit, not kidding. Uh, when my grandfather passed, and my dad and his sisters, my aunts, were going through his stuff, they were going through all the stuff from, you know, Belgium and all the like, family history stuff and everything, and they saw kind of like some family tree stuff and some some relatives of the Rikerts and stuff like that. They found some Van Dams a couple generations back. There is a non-zero percent chance 
that I am directly related to Jean-Claude Van Damme. Not kidding at all. That is entirely possible. They don't give a shit about Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, but they were just looking through and it's like, oh, oh, Van Damme, it's spelled the same way. It's like, oh, I wonder, are we related to the Van Dams? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know for sure. But in the Reichert family tree, there are Van Dams, and we're from Belgium. Somebody just said Van Dam is not his legal name. Yeah, but you know, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything, right? <laughs> I won't tell my dad. How many do we got here? I feel like I want something here. Give me that. Oh, he got fucked up. Look at him. This, this is the third one? Shit. Now oh, we're gonna get some big small worlds here. Some of the best ones, the early ones. He just jumps up on the anchor. That's right, Katie. I will say, though, as much as I love, like, 80s action movies and stuff, I've seen very little Van Damme. Same with Seagal. Uh, I was always, like, typically drawn to the, like, you know, Schwarzenegger, Stallone, you know, like, gun movies rather than the, like... Like, when we watched Kickboxer, me and Mahardy, we did that watch party of it. It was awesome! But, like, as a kid, I never saw him, really. I never saw Bloodsport back then. I've seen it now. It's good. Um... I've seen Bloodsport and Kickboxer. I've seen, um, fuck, I never saw a Double Team or, uh, Hard Target or, uh, Sudden Death. I mean, I know of them all. Quest. Uh, I have not seen them, though. Universal Soldier? No. I really have seen very little Jean-Claude Van Damme. Time Cop... Time Cop I rented, but um, I stopped, I, I ejected the VHS uh, when there's a part where somebody's in like VR and there's boobs and fuck. Um, and I was afraid my mom was going to see, is this correct? Okay. Uh, that my mom would see me watching a movie with boobs in it. Same reason I never finished trading places. There were boobs at one point and I was like, I can't let my mother know I've seen this. She could walk in at any moment. Terminator 1, I watched with... Yeah, I watched that with my mom. And I think I just had to go into a fugue state or something for a bit. Also, the scene in The Rock that I always poop during when Nicolas Cage is having sex on the roof. This is not happening! Had to poop every time during that. Or pretend to poop just for like 10 minutes. I've seen uh, most of Equilibrium, yeah. Like the parts everyone talks about, yeah. Yes, every time. Too cheesy. My mom and I watched The Rock a lot. And Face Off a lot. Bronson, I saw, I think, the first Death Wish. Maybe I saw, like, the third Death Wish because, like, Jimmy Page did the soundtrack for Death Wish 3 or 4. And so I think I just skipped right to that because I was like, yeah, I want to see this action movie that Jimmy Page did the music for. Um, so I think I've only seen one Death Wish. I've seen the Simpsons jokes about Bronson. Ladies and gentlemen, wake the kids, phone the neighbors. Especially, thanks for the uh, the host. We got Wendy this time. Here we go. No damage. Look at this shit. Gonna catch it too. Ready for this shit? Yeah. 
didn't hit the ground. Look at that. You can't prove it. Look at this shit. I'm gonna catch it too. Ready for this shit? Yeah! Didn't hit the ground. Look at that. You can't prove it. Don't hit the bacon, says she never thought it was weird you always had to shit. Never said anything about it. The same thing that, like, every time uh, the booby bomb happened in Face Off, when uh, Simone, just Simone is hot, and he's like, ah, I'm gonna blow you away, and the pixel boobs happened. Always had to fake a poop during that. You seen the movie Bronson with Tom Hardy? Yes, we did a painting in the stream about it. That's a wild movie. <coughs> Love this world. Listen to this music too. How jaunty is this? Hell yeah. It's a beloved action movie that I didn't like. I didn't like is too strong, but I feel like the way people talk about True Lies. Like, I've seen True Lies a couple times. And I love Cameron, I love Schwarzenegger, I love everyone involved there. Um, outside of the, like, you're fired at the end, I, uh, I don't have a lot that I, I remember the, the highway thing in True Lies, that was cool, but I feel like that's the one where people are higher on that movie than I am. I don't, and that's the thing, is I don't dislike it, that's why I hesitated to even say that, because I, I remember enjoying it, but, um, it's not in the conversation with me when I think of, like, the best Arnold movies. Kids, phone mm, the neighbors. You know one? Um, Armageddon. I thought I was going to love Armageddon. It's Bruce Willis. It's Michael Bay fresh off the rock. Uh, I thought that was going to be awesome. Did not like Armageddon. I love Deep Impact. Deep Impact was my favorite there. My Jackie Chan guy. I like Jackie Chan. I haven't seen a ton, but I like, you know, Rumble in the Bronx, um, Police Story. Like, there, there's good stuff. I uh, love Jackie Chan. What I've seen. All right. How many is this now? Daniel, yep. Princess Diaries? I have not... I have not seen those. So, like, True Lies better than Terminator 3, though? I'm not gonna comment on that. Party of Princess Diaries. Look at that shit! I saw that. Yeah, we did that. The best for painting the stream. Yeah, we're doing. Uh, you know what I'm curious to watch with Bonk? Death Proof. She loves Tarantino stuff, and she's never seen Death Proof. And I've only seen it once in the theaters when I saw Grindhouse. I'm very curious how Death Proof is now. First of all, so it's Death Proof sucks, and then Death Proof is fantastic. <laughs> huh. Wow. There are some... There are some different opinions about Death Proof. Wow. I'm curious. I'm curious. Because that's the thing, I, I didn't want to build it up too much for Bonk because, like, I was just excited about the idea of her seeing, uh, seeing a Tarantino thing she hasn't seen. Um, but then I told her, I was like, I think I might not have liked it that much when I saw it. So I don't know what to expect. 
Hateful Eight's the only Tarantino movie. Oh, no, I haven't seen Hateful Eight and I haven't seen Jackie Brown. Those are the only ones I haven't seen. Shit. I feel like Hateful Eight people do not like. Bonk and I were talking today about uh, Kill Bill and just... God damn it, that movie... That's... That... I don't know. It's like, obviously, Pulp Fiction, Reservoir is great. Uh, Django is great. Uh, but man, Kill Bill, both parts are really good. I remember loving Volume 2. I loved Volume 1, too. But, uh, god damn. I just thought Carradine at the end of uh, 2 was so good. Uh, the Daryl Hannah fight. Man. Michael Madsen and that. Yeah, it's... Mm. I'm being really into it. I think Kill Bill might be the best mix of, like, the good stuff about Tarantino is really highlighted. Just a lot of style and action and cool shit. And then, like, the more obnoxious parts of Tarantino are minimized. You know what I mean? Because, like, Tarantino clearly just smelling his own farts all day. Um, but I feel like Kill Bill is a pretty straightforward, just awesome revenge story, you know? Down three to go. Okay, thank you, Idol Songs. Django's fun. I only saw Django once. I was in the theater. Oh, I love these guys. Um, I remember really enjoying Django when I saw it. Inglorious. Glorious is fun. Once upon a time, I was not really hot on. <laughs> My dad is just so obsessed with things, just being extremely literal and just does not ever under... Like, my dad has, with a passion, hated Pulp Fiction since 1994. Remember, when I was a kid who was not allowed to see it, he would rant to me about how much he hated Pulp Fiction. Like, it's just being weird just to be weird. It's like some stuff happens, but it happens before other stuff, and then it goes back, and it's like people die, and then they come back, and it just doesn't make any goddamn sense. He's being weird just to be weird. He hated it so, so much. And uh, so ever since then, anytime Tarantino comes up, my dad is like, I hate that guy. He's just weird. He's just weird just to be weird. Like, I just hate him. I don't know why he has to do movies out of order just to be weird. Uh, and then my dad's fascinated with like the Manson murders and so when he started hearing about Once Upon a Time he was like oh you know what I hate I hate that Tarantino he's so weird but uh, I just I gotta see anything about the Manson murders so uh, you know I'm gonna have to see that that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and uh, I, I saw it like the day it came out or something and I remember telling him I just called him I was like dad you are going to hate this movie I can't recommend you see it. Uh, mute for a second if, if you don't want to get stuff spoiled or whatever. Um, because, like, he would want to see something that was just straightforward, like, here is the movie about the Manson murders, and everyone looks like they looked, and everyone did the same thing they did, and all the books he's read about it, and then when I saw the movie, and all the flamethrower shit, and all that stuff at the end, I was like, I was just like, almost laughing in the theater, just being like, my dad would hate this more than anything, and uh, I warned him, he didn't believe me, he was like, well, ah, it's fine, I, I love the Manson stuff, I gotta, I gotta check out the Manson stuff, and uh, the Manson movie, and I also told him, it's like, it's like three hours long, and like, 20 minutes of it are about Charles Manson, and he's like, uh, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. It's fine. And then he was so mad. He hated it so much. Like, it wasn't anything like that. There wasn't flamethrowers. There wasn't this. And this person did this. And this. <laughs> I tried to tell you that. Uh. 
Two to go here? Okay. Not what a mushroom looks like. He's just so... So unpredictable. So he's... Okay. Most of the time he is the most predictable human being... I've ever met in my entire life. I could tell you exactly if he's going to like something or not like something or whatever. But sometimes it's just like completely unpredictable. The biggest one, Godzilla versus King Kong. He will only see movies if it's like recreations of things he cares about. So it's like, oh, they, they're making a James Brown biopic. He'll see that. Um, or if it's monkeys or dinosaurs fucking stuff up. So, you know, Peter Jackson's King Kong, although he hates all the talky stuff at the beginning. He just wants to watch everything fuck up at the end. Jurassic Park, uh, oh, the new Planet of the Apes, and the old Planet of the Apes. He loves Planet of the Apes. Anything where it's like monkeys fucking stuff up, or big dinosaurs fucking stuff up, my dad loves. And so I remember when they showed the first trailer for Godzilla vs. King Kong, I was like, oh boy. He's gonna love this. And so I sent him the trailer. I was like, oh yeah, daddy, you're gonna wanna check this out. He's like, eh, I'm gonna check it out if I have time, which he has time. Uh, and then he watched it, or he started it, and he's like, I made it 10 minutes in and had to turn it off. It's just way too confusing. I just don't know. Godzilla's mad about something and doesn't explain why. I don't know why. I don't know. I was so confused. I had no idea why Godzilla was mad, and I just had to turn it off. The movie's nothing but three giant scenes of monkeys and dinosaurs fucking stuff up. It should be the most dad thing ever. I kind of like Godzilla Kong. Should we try the frog suit here? I guess we could try the frog suit, and if I die, I could just reload it. Oh yeah, that's a frog suit level. Look at this. Look at the speed in which I can move through this level. Look at this shit. Oh, this leisurely music didn't plan out my breakneck Sonic-like speed with the frog suit. Look at this. Defying what Miyamoto thought would happen in this level. Dashing. Oh my god. Look out, Twin Galaxies. Here comes a new speedrun record. Look at that shit. And the star. Oh shit, I got one more and then it's fucking lost levels. Shit. Oh, new ones. Mushroom star. Shin Godzilla. I heard it was good. I saw the Brian Cranston one. We're not being super hot on it. Look at this. Look at this precision. Look at this. Just watch this expert play here. We're not being super hot on it. Don't blink. Look at threading the needle. Shells. Big shell. What a cool level. Look at these big ass sprites. I probably said this before. Can you not see him when he paused? Alright. Bullet Bill! We know him, we love him. 
Look at him when he's flying out of a gun here. Or a, the, the base station, whatever the fuck it is. Is, obviously it's an eye. It's an eye up here. But then there's the thing down here. Is that his mouth? Is it like an angry shark plane thing? Or like, Arr! or is it like, because I know, I know in more modern ones, it's his arms that are out like this, you know? But to me, but here's why it's fucked up. Because Bonsai Bill, Bonsai Bill, if you look at him, it's clearly a mouth, okay? So you have to understand why back in the early 90s, it was easy to be confused by that because they clearly drew teeth and a mouth on Bonsai Bill. I know it's a different bill, but, and I know later they're like, oh, it's definitely arms, but here, I think it's, look at that. You see that? You see that? Look at that bullet. It, looking at it here, I would say it's an arm. I would say it's an arm. But you have to admit that making Bonsai Bill uh, clearly a mouth adds to some confusion. I'm just saying we need to start a petition to re-release Mario 3. That's all I'm saying. I think that's just the reasonable thing to do here. I think we've all been had. Big small here. Turn the needle. Didn't see shit. <laughs> P wing. See a tear bucket. Oh, wait, what's the real B? What's the real B? Shit. Just go back. B would be this. Okay. Did the bet? The bet already happened, right? For uh, the thing. Thoughts about Nintendo's BS. What does that mean, Too Cheesy? I mean, DS? The dual screen? Hello, tough bananas. Is this a, is this a Jeff Grubb scoop? The fuck is the what's the Nintendo BS? I don't even know what he's referring to. They're big on doing just that little like like a few pixels of white on the edge of something to make it look like it's shiny, and I'm into it. <laughs> Keeps people, yeah. Yeah, I won. Do you think if I loaded up Tyson on the CRT right now, I'd be able to beat him? Let's bet. Wait, you can't bet. There's already an active bet. I don't know if you're going to be able to see shit. Here, let me see if I can... Uh, do that. Let's see. Can I hear it? Can I hear?
Got it. We got it. We're going to get it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Grub, you can't just say things like that. You can't just say that, Jeff Grub. That's not how the world works. Good God. Okay, how many levels have I beaten of three here? Where am I at on this? Oh, God, Katie. Yeah. Punishment? Grub, what do you think Twitch is? That's not how this works. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Remember seeing the ending of Death Stranding? I've seen a lot of videos. All right. What the hell is going on here? I can't believe I can beat Tyson at this point easier than I can beat some Mario levels when I'm drunk. I have done that Tyson fight a lot now, and I love doing it on a CRT. Oh my god. Never beat him on a CRT as a kid. I got it down now. What do we got going on here? Trending? No, no, no. It's a bad story, bad game. Ah. Shit! Just get me to the fucking thing! Look how close that was. Look how close that was. Look how cool I was. Shit! Just get me to the fucking thing! Ooh! Yeah. do this. I gotta pee. How many levels do I have to beat in this before I... I guess I can pee anytime, but like, before lost levels. Eight more?! That's the most it could have been after beating a level! I have to do eight more?! This is the one with all the walking, uh, candles! I gotta go pee! This is the one with the walking candle stuff going on. Hey, swimming sim, that's great to hear. Good luck on the thesis. Yes. Yes. Ooh, 
that's not good. Let's bring down the lights. See, hey, Max! Thanks for stopping by. I should have, uh. I should have done this beforehand. Saved. Oh! Tanuki suit! Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll save that. Let's use the thing. At least have, uh. What do we got going on here? Not a lot of that's good for this. Fuck it, we'll be fine. Dope, dope. I thought this was so fun. They don't overuse this gimmick much. It's just a few levels. Love this. Yeah, the pipey levels are great. Wait, is that gonna spit me out? Oh, right, okay. Just an all-timer game. Where was this on my top 100 games of all time, for those who have that at the ready for some reason? I don't know why that would be a thing that happens, but if you happen to have access to my top 100 games of all time, I'd love to see... I bet this is just top 15? I would hope it's in top 10. It should be top 10. Number 12? Okay. It's respectable. Number 12. What Mario games are above it? Let me guess. Let me guess. On my top 10, Good I'm guessing choice. above it are uh, Mario World. Definitely Mario World. I don't think I would have put 64. World is the only one above this? Okay. That checks out. Where's Sunshine? What number is Sunshine on my list? Sunshine's 33? I put Sunshine that low? 33? I guess... I guess that might be fair. Tanuki! Nope, just one-ups. Oh, look at that up there. I could have flown up there. There's a secret. isn't like a sectioned off area where you fight Boom Boom. I feel like you're fighting Boom Boom in like the lobby of a hotel here versus like his own lair. You know what I mean? Because it's just like you're doing a level and all of a sudden like Boom Boom's there. It feels like you just like turned around a corner and it's like, oh fuck, Boom Boom! Instead of like, oh, there's a lair. There's gonna be a thing here. Mario RPG not on... Wait, Super Smash is Mario RPG not on that? The Super Nintendo thing? No way, right? How, why would Mario RPG not be on here? It's not? There's some licensing bullshit? Ugh, business bullshit's the worst. I hate business bullshit. Look at the farting dinosaur from Tekken 3, gone. He's, uh, he's the king now. It's on the SNES Classic. That Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, God. Licensing business bullshit is the dumbest shit in the world. I 
I do enjoy Mario RPG quite a bit. I don't know if any of our uh, Guinness World Record run stuff for the second time is still available in uh, archive uh, stuff. Uh, like, uh, I know Hanson filmed a lot of it. He didn't do the documentary. He did the documentary of our, of our uh, Smash Brothers one. But he didn't, uh, didn't do one for the six of us doing it. So, like, my Mario 50-hour record, where I played all of Mario RPG for the first time, I don't think that is archived anywhere. Knowing Hanson, I wouldn't surprise me if he had the archive somewhere. But, uh, I don't think it's available anywhere. If you have not seen Ben Hansen's documentary about the time we broke the fighting game world record, uh, search for Smashed a Guinness documentary. Just search for Smashed Guinness Game Informer and you'll see it. It's like an hour long. It's me, it's Tim, Hansen made it. Um, it was just a delight. It's, it's like the only time I remember when I was a Game Informer that we had like a screening, you know, uh, where, you know, everyone kind of came in and you know, uh, we we all watched it together, and it was just just a blast. I thought that's an Andy's new look for the EA show. Andy's doing great. I texted Andy after that EA show. Um, he's yeah, he's he's doing great. Yeah, it was good to see him on there. It was uh, interesting seeing my first like full time boss in the gaming industry, Andy McNamara, uh, tossed to a current close friend and colleague to host the show afterwards. Uh, that was just a weird, just like, wow, how did this wind up happening? Where it's like, <laughs> that guy who I read when I was a child and I was getting Game Informer is now tossing to this guy that's younger than me that I know that does a completely different job uh, during his day job uh, that I now work with closely on a podcast. It was uh, very, very interesting. I texted Andy about that. Like, that's crazy to see. Streamlabs doing shit? What's going on? I see people talking about Streamlabs. Something funky going on? P-Wing! Ah, Sky World! Hell yeah! How many more do I have here? Well, I mean, Grub, that makes sense. You being you and all. All right, level one, here we go. Oh, this is the one where I do the, the chain chomp thing. Yeah, okay. You wanna see some fucking action? Here we go, watch this. <clears throat> Three out of nine completed, six to go. Great. No, it was cool seeing Andy. Andy and I butted heads at times during my time at, at GI in terms of like work stuff, but I, I always really liked Andy as just a dude. And uh, he always cracked me up. He was always really, really funny, really knowledgeable. And as someone who grew up just totally being obsessed with that like print era of, of gaming media, he was like the king to me. And so to like interview with him and, and work with him and everything was, uh, it was really cool. So even if we butted heads at times, it was, uh, I, I like Andy a lot. No tickle bits. I will not be doing that. These people are just fighting to stay awake. Oh, look at them. Look at their, uh, their links. Look at their Atari links. There they go. It's going crazy. Do you see that shit? It was worth it! Oh, look at these weirdos. You see the one just took off? He had enough of it! Uh, Smash, I didn't play too much of the uh, All-Stars versions of these games. I tend to just go with the originals. The level with the big secret thing? That's right, there is a weird thing here. There's a weird thing there. There's... How do you break into that? I don't quite remember. I don't know. Shit. Pee-pee! It's 
still loud. Joe Juba, what he's been up to. Uh, Joe left GI. He's, uh, I think I might see him in Minnesota next week. I like Joe. Joe is a good man. Oh, is this the weird one where you fall for a long time? Oh no, it does this. Oh, but you can fall for a long time, or you can go up to that thing. That's right. Things start getting crazy around this point in the game. in a waterfall. It's crazy. Good shit. Oh, I forgot they can pick it up. Is that Mario 2 level? Think about that and not what you just saw. Juba was a great writer. Um, he, uh, he was always... Like, I was never, I, I never took a journalism class. I didn't know, like, the actual rules on things. I just knew games. And so, Juba was really instrumental. And in as many reviews as I wrote before I came to Game Informer or whatever, I feel like Juba was the first time I had, like, a really knowledgeable writer type looking over my work before we published it. And, uh, uh I learned a lot from Joe. Like, I always just, like, I don't know. I, I was never the type to, like, if somebody, like, criticize my work or anything or uh, you know give me pointers or anything I never was the type to get like defensive or to think that they were coming after me or anything I always was just like oh you know more than me I would like to know these things so like anytime Joe would like pull me aside and be like okay I think if you structured it this way or whatever or did this or here's a little rule to remember and stuff like that I always just really really appreciated that stuff and I think it really helped me become a better writer so Tanuki suit yeah. P-Wing, Tanuki, P-Wing, Tanuki. Look at that shit. That's what you want. Ow. I like the, like, reggae drums at the beginning of that. Oh, is this Kribo Shoe? Kribo! Oh shit, you gotta hit him from underneath. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Kaboom! Kribo. Ferdinand says, what is your favorite modern controller? Great question. Uh... I like the dual sense a lot, but I would say I think I like the feel of the uh, Elite 2 whatever Xbox thing. That is, uh, that's probably my favorite, I think. I mean, it's it's all good. I'm playing with a Pro Controller now. Um, the dual sense is great. I mean, that's a boring answer is that they're all good, but like, honestly, all the first party stuff I think is pretty good right now. But yeah, if I had to pick one, Desert Island controller right now, Elite Series 2. Shit. I like that shoe. <clears throat> Grab, you should. You should. Grab, if you're working in this line of work, you gotta think of Karibo shoe once a day. Grub, did you see any of the stuff? Uh, I was looking through some old PSMs and stuff recently. I think it was during the Nightmare Party. Man, a lie. That's interesting to go through 90s video game magazines. It's, uh, man, it's interesting to me. Idle Song says, three more to go on this. Great. Excellent. Ticklebit skips it out five subs. Hell yeah. Thank you, sir. Quentin Tarantino can't stop thinking about Kribo Shoe. Oh, yeah, because he can't stop, like, whacking off the feet. I get it. Yeah, that's, that's his whole thing. It's clear. It's very clear if you've seen his films. I'm not going to be able to get up there. 
Yeah, yeah, Grub. That's what I did. I just uh, I got I got a PSN with a uh, Resident Evil Three on the cover. Uh, yeah, and I was going through some old Insight magazines and stuff. Uh, I shipped all my shit back from Kansas, so I got a bunch of old EGM, Insight, Ultra Game Players, Game Informer. I mean, I got, I got a ton of shit, and it's really, uh, really fun to go through. service it's like the video game history foundation or something i think it's like 20 a month or something and uh you can do like you can pick if you want 2000 specifically i don't think anymore you can pick 90s that's because i wanted to pick that but i think i had to pick just like random 90s or 2000s but the first one i got was like 98 or something you know Yeah, that's awesome. That is so my shit. Blake Hester says, Hey, Dan, current GI employee here. I got curious hearing you bring it up and dug around on our website a bit, and sadly, it looks like none of the Guinness videos survived. Aside from the documentary, there's an old article you wrote detailing the event, but the live stream seems to be lost to time. Blake, interesting. I would guess then that it was, uh, I believe, I bet Hanson. I bet Hanson has archives somewhere. By the way, Blake, I think I saw you and Leo ranking Tony Hawk games. Does that sound familiar? If so, I enjoyed that video. Um, but yeah, that might be lost to time outside of some Hanson hard drive. Blake, yeah, that was fun. I, I thought it was interesting, Blake, because, uh, you know, you and Leo being younger than me, you had a... You had an affinity for stuff like, I think, like, American Wasteland or Skateland that was, like, I liked, but I think I remember being, like, kind of fatigued by Tony Hawk stuff by the time it came out. But then I was I was trying to think about it. I was, like, just doing some math on, like, you and Leo being, you know, several years younger than me. It's like, oh, yeah, I guess you would have been more in those years where, like, maybe American Skateland or Wasteland, whichever one. One of them was the DS1. One of them was the, you know, cross-generation one. Um... Yeah, that, that would strike you more. Whereas, like, me, it's like one, two, three. That's like the, the glory years, you know? But yeah, I enjoyed that. We got a link from Grub. Oh, okay, so Grub uh, posted the, the link to the uh, the blind box thing. Great. Underground. Under, underground's great. Remember fucking uploading a j shitty JPEG in college to try to get my, uh, my dumb head on a on a skater first time i'd been able to do that outside of like just creating a head in some like you know war zone for 64 or something oh grub vghf has 80s and 90s as an option right now i wonder if i can change it if i have an active subscription hey siri remind me uh change video game magazine uh thing to uh 80s and 90s I got uh, all my video game magazines in the office uh, right next to this room. But for now, I do have, uh, let's see. I do have these, so.
tipping his cap. Good stuff. Oh yeah, Grub. I bought the uh, the first one, and it delivered. And uh, I uh, I got the other two. I think there are only three, so I think I have the full set. Yeah, I, I have a feeling going back to old game magazines will be a recurring thing on this stream. I greatly enjoy it. Oh, I love this level. I remember thinking as a kid that this level, like, because there are so many breakable blocks, I remember thinking, like, oh, I bet there's so many secrets in there, you know? And there's, as far as I know, there's not a whole lot, but I remember, like, seeing, like, that, like, a wall of blocks and be like, oh, my God, I, I need to take all those out and see what doors are back there or whatever. So these games just seem so packed with secrets that you just, it was so easy to believe that they were just everywhere, you know? I like those clouds. The ones that have like the thin thing at the edge there. That's good. <laughs> Lawgiver says, when's the next nightmare party? A year from now. <laughs> no fucking chance it's anytime closer than that. How many more? Uh, this? How many do I have? Two, seven. Ah, I love this shit. This is fun. Five, two, love asking. <laughs> okay, Idle Song says one more after this, I assume. Or wait, one more including this? This is the one? This is the last one. Okay. Well, there you go. Ah, fuck. Now I gotta do fucking... What do you call it? Lost songs. Basement tapes. What's it called? Fucking... Lost levels! <clears throat> oh, good. Orient myself to this game. Oh yes, this game feels very good. Tanuki! Oh yeah! Nope. That won't change me back, will it? Starting? No, I'm not safe. It's coming. Game over, yeah! <laughs> that sucks so bad. I was like, oh no, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> I 
That's right, Mario Historian. Yeah, look at that! Now who's the Mario Historian? Who do you think you are? I am! Five up! Number one gamer on Cameo. <sighs> that doesn't count, so it's one level, one level done. Strookies, people. There's that Tanuki suit, and no one can ever take it away from me. And feast. Star looks like. I always thought that looked like a like a mushroom with a tiara. Ooh. Let me see this goddamn clip. Oh, I still have the smashy bit shit on. That's about right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> All right. How goes the Mario? Uh, Adangs, it's gone great, and uh, nothing's gone wrong. All right. Bottom right three cards in the bonus stage are always the same? I did not know that. Oh, this stuff. Auto scroll in the sky. Right, be the shorts. Are you a Tanuki suit? Okay. Great music. Whip, whip. Oh, no. Bad news right there. Is he gonna come back? No, thank you, sir! Star! <sighs> thank you, Virtual Cat. Much appreciated. Beetle? Yeah, that sounds right. No! It... How many Tanuki suits must I lose? Damn it! Wait. It overrode it, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Let's just use this bullshit. Uh, that's two levels. Unnecessary. Everything I'm doing is unnecessary. Start using items just to clear up space. Oh yeah, that, this will help here. Yeah, that's what you want. You want something that'll throw off the way you perceive the jumps. Okay. something that matches the background, Mario. Oh, 
Oh, right. Forgot those exist. Don't give me a fire flower. Uh, sure. Actually, yeah, that's pretty nice. Why didn't I think of using a star on this level? Ooh. Give me that! Nips! Oof. Boom boom. Ugh. Crap. Always makes me nervous going into a boom boom small. Okay. Just get him right when he pops up. Boom! There we go! How you do it? All right. Uh, I'm gonna just try this. This is not a level. So that's three, right? Great. Game holds up best. Uh, LazyCon probably three. Always cracked me up how Tiny Mario looked compared to Toad when he's tiny in this spot. That's gonna be a star. Star bottom? No! There we go! Two is still really, really good, yes. And we can agree that one is the one that holds up the least. Well, I mean, lost levels never held up, but... <clears throat> I have so much food in my stomach. Who... I... Ugh. Jeez, I did not expect that to fill me up so much. Oh, good. want it. Lakitu's hands or cheeks? I always saw it as his cheeks, but now that I think about it, it's probably his hands, right? Okay, so let me, let me down. Star, 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 star! Star! Ha! Yeah, they're definitely hands. I always saw it as like he just had like fat cheeks. I also saw Agnum totally wrong in length of the past all those years. Five levels or four? Oh, good. Because of Denny's, I can never have tequila again? That's an incredible sentence. Weep, weep. Remember this having a funky jump at the end. Or maybe it's here. You have to do one of these guys. Oh, no. Always a risk. Why? Why are you back so fast? Vinny? I get that reference. It's going for that mushroom. It's a new start. Good choice. Brady, we'll see. I haven't seen the bed. Is the bed if I'm going to die once or not in the last levels? <sighs> Look how tiny he looks. And he's got that, like, cocky stance. Uh. What? I didn't... Ugh. 
Which, uh, how many have I done? The bet is 10 times that I die? Wow. That's a shame. This is the... I've beaten five. Okay. Airship, no power-ups. Here's where I thrive. Here we go. that sometimes. It was cool. Stressful about this. song says I've beaten six. Roy! Not like this. Not like this. Oh! Uh, the constant explosions are not intended. It breaks from time to time. in the ground. Balls go up out of frame. Brunswick, I will probably be streaming pretty late tonight, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm seeing bugs. Safe. Still safe, still safe. Ooh. Gonna catch it. Lost Levels is next. That's right. I agree. That looks cool. 92% say I'm going to die in the Lost Levels. I have to beat three Lost Levels. I'm going to pee. I'm going to see how Bonk's doing. A little longer break here. Uh, be, be prepared. Oh, wait. It's not now. I have to be three more, right? I need two, two here, okay. Okay. I always thought this had a cool look too. Hate of these. This sucks. This sucks. I hate this. Just let me do it. Burf! 
Wait, did I... Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Eat shit, everyone. These suck so bad. It's not even a thing! Take anything, but I was going for a star. Ooh. Is that it? Is that nine? Mm, cleared up some space. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. That rec room time in VR was fun. I did. I did enjoy doing that. Maybe there, there's something to like doing a rec room meetup type thing or something sometime. That that could be fun. But with a bunch of like advanced notice, people can download it and things like that, you know. Your zone, that's uh, that's one of the better ones for it, for sure. Pistol whips, all right, yeah. Hello, everyone. Thanks. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hate timing these. I would have enough speed going. Whoa. Metal Gear around. You know, I can see a world where I play the Metal Gears on stream. I used to say no. But you know what I mean? It's uh, been a long time since Metal Gear Scanlan. And I fucking love those games. You know, I was playing those every few years before I was doing videos on the internet. So, stands to reason I would keep doing it. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, thanks, Mongoose. Mongoose says, it's amazing how many games you've gone through on stream. I know I've done a ton on this 
channel here, but also when you factor in going way the fuck back over, you know, 10 years ago, I beat, I beat this game, Mario 3, on Game Informer in probably 2010. That video is still on the internet, so... Yeah, uh, between Game Informer and Giant Bomb and here, it's, it's a lot. It feels good. It feels really good. It's still very fun. All right. Pog ranking. Been a while, yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do enjoy Pog ranking. Great. Love fighting Hammer Bros to get an item that... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm thinking of the music box that lets you avoid Hammer Bros. Smashing Crab says, I've watched that Yoshi's Island playthrough on GI like 20 times over the years. My god. Fun one! I remember that as the first time I think I was able to get Ben Hansen out of his shell. Because he wanted to, uh, Ben Hansen used to be, uh, you know, hey, I just want to do video stuff, very nervous about being on camera, he's very intimidated by everything, by us and everything, and so... Hansen was content to be the guy sitting over there, and every once in a while you'd hear this. But then with the Yoshi's Island one, uh, I was able to actually get him uh, on there, and he's a fascinating, funny, great guy. So. Oh, this one, I remember this. Ever play the Metal Gear Acid games? I did. Let's do that thing. Let's do that thing where I see if I have a review online. Online. Review of Metal Gear Acid 2. No! I gave that to Trevin. Okay. I was, uh, was the video game editor. I got to decide who reviewed what, so... I reviewed, you know, the stuff that I'd... I basically reviewed everything <laughs> that I, I felt, because I, I felt I could review every genre and every, uh, you know, console and everything, so I pretty much took everything. But I brought, I, I had a couple uh, working with me that like, if it was a PC game or something, you know, I'd be like, or some big like, you know, populist type game or something. I don't know, that's a bad example. What's, what am I thinking of? Like a bigger PC game or whatever. I'd be like, oh, Chris, you take this. Uh, and then if it was something like a Metal Gear Acid or a Mega Man Battle Network where it's like, ah, I like this series, but I don't know what the fuck this format is or whatever, I'd give it to Trevin, so, yeah. Well, and yet I would be doing, like, Barnyard for the Wii or whatever. I don't know. Don't know why I took those on myself as well. Cool. Mega Man streams? Mega Man go around? I mean, we did do... Cool! Cool! We did, uh... Blue Bombin' on Giant Bomb. But that was Alex playing, right? I don't know... Have I ever played much Mega Man? I came about that the wrong way. I'm pretty good at Mega Man. I beat all of them. I mean, I would definitely be a little more liberal with the save states. I'm not looking to kill myself with those games. Oh, God. Not necessary. I don't have to do that. I feel like I'd want a different hook to it. Rather than a straightforward playthrough. With the X series. Mm, Castlevania go around. I've always said Castle... Th I don't know how it's said out loud, but it's spelled castle, with that E being a three, and Dania, capital D. So Castle 3 Dania, uh, where I play all the 3D Castlevanias. But, I was talking to Tim Terry about this in Minnesota, and uh, he's, he has played oh a lot of Castlevania. God. He's played a lot of Castlevania 64. I have not. And so I asked him, I was like, it's, it's, it's gotta be like, so bad it's good, right? At least interesting. And he was like, no, it's just terrible. It's, you should not play that game on stream. But I don't know. 
I don't know. What does Tim Terry know? He's only never steered me wrong ever, really. Yeah, he told me, his example was, yeah, you know Castlevania? Like, some of the most iconic video game music ever? It starts out in a place called, like, the Silent Forest or something, where it's just no music and just the rustling of bones. Oh, this is good. For, like, a while, he said. Ah, oh, I took a bit, so I'm glad to hear that. I like Lords of Shadow. Lords of Shadow's great. Oh, God, here we are again. Meet again, boom boom. Hell yeah! Anywhere we can find our old Ride to Hell playthrough. Oh, well, I did the replay of it, that's probably still up. If you're talking about the one we did at Jason's place, um, that all in one sitting, the overnight one. Probably one of the first times I've ever been on Twitch. Uh, I believe that that playthrough only exists on a hard drive somewhere in Ben Hansen's place. I remember that was deemed, uh, that was not allowed to be on Game Informer. How many have I beaten here? I'm having a good time tonight, folks. This is a lot of fun. I've beaten two? Thank you, Idle Songs. Ah, oh, crap. Only seven more than I have to... All right. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, B and A is different. Okay. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh, I love these things. They're so wacky and unpredictable at times, but I find like even when I die with those things, it's funny. Be the shorts. No! Oh, that's fine. No, I didn't mean to... I was trying to back out. That's fine. I swear if I lose another Tanuki suit for dumbass reasons. Do the cool thing, ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do not lose it in a dumb way, Dan. Ha! Get some time out of this thing. There we go. Tanuki! I thought it was funny because on the map, when he wears the Tanuki suit, it looks like he's just like hyperventilating. <laughs> it's just like so hot. It's like, why am I wearing this? Although, if you're gonna wear it, the Ice World's probably a place to do it. Is my window open? Why is it so hot in here? Reminders of what happened earlier in Smash, you bet. Best not to talk about it. Up there. Can't remember if a peeling can get you up there. Might be a good time if you level.
game audio down a touch can do. All right. That hurts. I'd only be mad at myself for that one, though. swimming for him. Dark Souls go around? Nah. I know the games I'm good at, and I know the games I'm not. And even the games I'm good at, like I think Mario's in there, I kind of suck at sometimes. Um, Dark Souls, I can brute force my way through those. Well, I guess the only one I ever actually beat was Bloodborne, and that was just cheesing it, basically. Um... That's not my... Team Kayla on Twitch, if you want to watch that. That's my sister. She is... She's good at games. I pride myself on my knowledge and history with games. Uh, not so much my execution. Kayla, execution. Combat Tower Tournament. Oh. Kaboom. Ding. Could have worse things than fire flowers going up against the Hammer Bros. Did Kayla beat Sekiro? I've thought about it. She's taking a break from Sekiro. She did mention that she was not as hot on it as it went on. Whereas Bloodborne, she loved the whole time. Fatality each round or started over. Wrestle House! Sir, good to see ya. He gets it. Wrestle House watched an entire Kayla stream before realizing she was my sister. Wow. through the explosions. It's just, it was cool, trust me. What the hell happened? <laughs> Tickle bits, yeah. Isn't there a thing? I thought there was a thing. I could have sworn there was a thing. That's a thing. Three percent on my side for this bet? What? That's ridiculous. What have I ever done to not earn your confidence, folks? Do that, huh? 
I think I just figured that out as a kid. Oh, right, okay. I'm starting to overwrite stuff. If I overrode that Hammer Brothers suit, I'd be pissed. I need to use stuff. Fuck, I'm not gonna use something now. Hmm, well. I mean, this is stupid. Be Why would I waste it? I need to use something so I don't overwrite. Could just use a star, yeah. That's probably the safest bet. One instance where it will be helpful. Nope. Couldn't even get that. Whatever. Cleared up space. Uh, could really use the tail here. Maybe you can be the tail. Nope. You? Make space for a tail. Make space for a tail. Flowers ain't tails, I always said. Forgot that fire could hurt them. It's kind of surprising. I'm starting to doubt my uh, abilities. I always like doing this. Yeah. Oh god. I feel like I'm gonna be lucky to get through one more with this next round of lost levels. I got two more Smashy Bed matches planned. Saving when I'm not on the map screen, but uh. Oh. Uh, that's fine, that'll do. Boom, 
Boom doesn't stand a chance. Do I know the power of hammers and castles? No. Please tell me. That's interesting. That's fine. Got hit just because I could. What can hammers do in castles? Hammers kill thwomps. Oh! You mean Hammer Brothers. I was thinking like the... These, the panel choice. things. I was like, how the fuck does that work? Okay. La Bamba, thank you so much. How many more do I need to beat here before... Uh, I have to move on. What is this? Two more? Thank you, Idle Songs. Okay. Hello, Geese Peeps Mom. Geese Peeps Mom. Is she, is she available for a question right now? Okay, um, would she like to book a smashy bet match for after the lost levels? Any two fighters, no titles on the line, any two living fighters. Same baby, it's going great. Bet fighters are dead or missing or in different states. <laughs> I just realized there's multiple. <laughs> Some are on the road or live in Kansas. Okay, she says yes. How can she choose the amiibos? Which ones are available? I mean, I don't know if she can see this. Uh, does she want to point at if it was a tic-tac-toe board and orange was one, two, three, yellow was four, five, six, and green was seven, eight, nine. You can, you can narrow it down that way. No, Tickle Bits, I've got the kid here. Does she know what anything looks like? Like any of the fighters? It's a beautiful camera. It's the best one we have. Well, uh, Geese Peeps, if you can, uh, Google list of Amiibo, it, it should take you to Nintendo's site where it shows all of them. Um, they don't all work with Smash Brothers. Tell you what, if you just show her the Smash Brothers series of Amiibo, any of those will work. Oh, we just watched Jackass 2 and 3. We watched Jackass 2 at the lake in Minnesota, and oh boy. Some of those parts are more than I remember. Holy shit. Yep, Brunswick, that's one of those parts. Katie, yep. <sighs> Poor Pontius. No! It overwrote. These people says she chose Vegeta and a Koopaling. Okay, now let her know. Let her know that Vegeta did compete earlier tonight, but it was a while ago. And I want to say, did Vegeta win? Either way, v Vegeta is at 10% damage. So just have her know that Vegeta is coming in with a little bit of damage. 
I'm fine with, with him fighting a Koopaling. Koopalings are kind of low tier right now. So, just as long as she knows that one of the competitors will be having competed already tonight. I can't believe I ever wrote the fucking thing. Oh, these stars, man. She's okay with that. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, well, let her know. Uh, I have to beat this and one more level here, and then I have to beat three levels of the lost levels, which uh, we'll see how long that takes, and then we will get to that round of Smashy Bet, but we will open with Vegeta versus a Koopaling. Song's one more here, right? Which Koopaling? That's a good question, Max. I'll uh, I'll let her choose, and we have several, many of which are custom. Max, you certainly know that. We need nine here, so he might need to help me keep track here, folks. All right, nice laid back Mario three. Now we're talking. Nothing bad has ever happened. Mario three. It's just a fun old time. If you love video games. Just having fun. Just having fun. Doesn't get much better. It sometimes gets a little bit better if you're playing Mario World, but rarely gets better than this game. This is pure video game joy. Right here. Let's do this. Ah! Oh! 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 Star! Good game! All right. Hell yeah. That's one. One! We were doing this live. I was on a stage, uh, like uh, when we did Mario Party Party 5. We could all do a fun thing at the end of each one where we all count together. That'd be fun. Maybe someday we'll do some fun live stuff. Great. Uh, with meetups and stuff. Uh, I do think a live smashy bet is just kind of the ultimate. Uh, I would. Oh, uh, a live smashy bet at a bar or a theater or something would just be the absolute best. With like cheering and chants and things like that. Oh my god. Take that around the country. Just, just go, just get greedy. You can beat Boom Boom. Oh, what are we doing here? I don't like this situation. Ha! Here we go. I know how he moves. I can do this. <laughs> Number one gamer on Cameo. Um, man, it'd be fun to do. I wonder if I could find a place, like around New York, where we could do one. A live smash, you bet. Uh. Two! Okay. Okay, see, well, yeah, for the meetup, for sure. But I was kind of thinking of something like, even like separate. MSG, yeah, we can do MSG. Stressful, as always are. Oh, 
I'll be at MSG uh, next month. I'll uh, have to ask if, uh, if there's Smashy Bet fans there. would be more helpful here, I think. Okay. Just great music. <sighs> I listened. here. Okay, let's do it. Ooh. Smash your bed up. up, down. Up, down, KC. Not like this. Okay. I'm going to catch it. Ready? Yeah! Midair, you see? Screenshot it. There's proof. Right, Midair. Roy Baker do it at the Hammerstein Ballroom. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Smash you bit at the Hammerstein. What did he turn into? Three! Oh god, I can't stop thinking of Smash you bit at the Hammerstein. I've been there a bunch and that would be incredible. St. Vitus. Bonk would love that. Up down Minnesota, that's a good one too. Alright, plant world. Okay. Guess on commentary. Uh, Mahardy's great for Smashy. I like Mahardy a lot when he's done the Smashy stuff. It's the only context I like Mahardy in. Hello. Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah. Oh, Vinny. I wonder how Vinny would like, uh, Smashy. <laughs> At Medieval Times with him last weekend. It didn't come up. I've not done a Wildermyth yet, but you know what? Bonk is loving a game right now that everything she says to me reminds me a lot of what Mike has said about uh, Wildermyth. Um, it's Curious Expedition 2 just came to Switch, and Bonk is loving it. And like a lot of her stories of like uh, emergent storytelling and all that stuff, it sounds kind of similar to the stuff Mike was saying about uh, Wildermyth. down here. I've been to a robot restaurant in Tokyo. Yes, I have. It is one of the most memorable places I've ever been to. Uh, the robot restaurant is incredible. I went there with Ben Hansen and Tim Terry once. Actually, I made that master. You just said uh, that seems similar to medieval times to me. I uh, I mentioned to uh, some people I was there with that it uh, it was like a robot restaurant. That sucked. I hated that. Curious Expedition 2, Fatongle. That's one box plan. Use of the star. Do you eat at a robot restaurant that bring those bento boxes that aren't very good? Uh, there's a great picture, if you go to a robot restaurant, of Tim Burton uh, watching it just with a uh, just completely straight face. Just seems like he's just watching paint dry. 
most ludicrous shit in the world. is pretty good here. There we go. Last star. I was going to say last star would be unnecessary because um, we're doing the save state thing so we don't really need lives and so one would be fine so that's why I started saying last star. Four? on the docket for Founder. Uh, Vertebraker would probably be the most knowledgeable about that right now. Uh, by the way, huge thanks to Vertebraker for uh, handling a lot of the logistics around getting Founder across the world in a way that uh, hopefully minimizes shipping costs and stuff for everyone. Australia are the two non-US destinations he's heading to. Is this exactly what I did last time? Let's see if we can go over. Probably designed it so there's not enough runway. Well, maybe. We're making progress. Oh, come on. Come on. Mother. Oh wait, that's good. That's actually gonna help. Never mind. Felt bad for a second, but it's good. There we go. Flying would have been cooler, but all right. My brain, yep. Oh, I guess you can see it going through, but yeah. There we go. Gonna go for a star, and I got it. There we go. Call my shots. Five? Was that five? Okay. Yes, lost levels is in the rotation. Oh boy, are we gonna go for two in this stream? Oh, come on. Let's see how long Lost Levels takes me. Just let me fly! Damn turtles. Six! 
just does not count. Why did I hit it there? scroll underwater with these things. Cheep cheeps. I heard Simpson here. Fish with goggles is uh, one of the great Mario visual gags. The dolphins in Mario World with goggles. Just funny. Just funny. Get away. Fan, anything you're doing. Uh, some TMNT one shit. And a big birth out here? Come on. What are we doing? Just die, just die. You too. Donkey Kong Country go around. Uh, you know what? I would consider that if I hadn't already gone through one and two on stream. Say, always go for three stars, you're a fool if you don't. Seven! Did Zelda go around one dungeon at a time? Huh. That would be, uh. be long. There's a lot of stuff between dungeons and before dungeons in those games. I've seen wacky stuff you can do with BizHawk now, where it's like, every time you get a ring in Sonic, it switches to a different Sonic game and stuff like that. Like, that type of stuff sounds really interesting to me. Um, I haven't really taken the time to look into how to get it done, but like, I have, I can do BizHawk. I got games, you know? I, uh, I would not be against doing something like that sometime. I saw somebody had something, uh, I would love if, I forget who, uh, linked me to it, but it's in the Discord of, uh, you just put, like, a bunch of games in a folder and at random intervals. So, like, you know, sometimes it'll be five seconds. You can set, like, I think you can set the range, like, five seconds to 15 minutes, whatever you want to do. At random times, it'll just, like, switch the game. And it's like, oh, now I'm playing this game. And I think that sounds pretty awesome. Uh, if you're out there and you were telling me about that, or if you even know what I'm talking about, put it in the stream HQ on the Discord. I'd like to look into that more. Dash Rando and the BizHawk emulator, got it. I think that would be a really special, fun stream. I could really... If I can pick the games, too... That sounds like a hell of a Friday night sometime. So just have like 30 possible games. It works across a lot of systems too. Hey Siri, remind me, I have to do that random game BizHawk stream. I can't wait for it to miss your BizHawk and I look at the memo tomorrow and I don't remember what the hell it was talking about. Wind Waker crowd control? What does that do? Effects is that at? Ooh. Did I ever play Minish Cap on stream? No, but that's on the short list. Wind Waker, Metal Gear Solid, not no. Yeah, I know, I know what crowd control is. I've done that. I just didn't know. Um, 
specifically what Wind Waker could do. So wait, with that thing that switches around, could I put like all three N64 Mario parties on it, set all the 50 turns, set it to randomize when it switches between them, and then do 150 turns. And it's randomly switching between all the Mario parties at once. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Eight. <laughs> uh. uh. hey. More than 150 turns because you'd finish one before the others? Why would that be more? Oh, because I would have to... Can you drop one out of the rotation if you beat one? I don't know how that works. Tanuki. If you beat one, you can mark it as clear and it drops out. That's awesome. God, that's so cool. Metal Gear, that would be a lot. This is dumb. This is not like a puzzle, this is just dumb. I know, I'm gonna accidentally ride over goddamn Tanuki suit. Okay, stop going. Seems like a really appropriate use of a star. Alright, that was a good one for it. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, oh boy. Okay, this is a lot. Got the wild updates for my dad today. Yeah, he, uh, ooh. He prayed, he got more stamina, he unlocked a tower. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got some. Tanuki star. These levels are cool. Great, great, great. Why I checked it like that? Oh, is this gonna be a bullshit level? Looking like a damn fool. Nine? Nine? God. Crap. It's time. Can we start a bet? Will I? Will I beat the first lost level that I go into without losing a life? I think that should be the bet. This world's a tough one. Damn, Mario 3 is always a long, 
track, but, you know, the worst game is to have to play nine levels. Uncle Disco rating. Thank you so much, Uncle. Okay. Uh, I like these levels. These are fun, I think. That's just a fun time. Oh, that's... Yep, okay. Uh, oh, oh, yeah! Oh, crap. Okay, whatever. What the... <laughs> I looked at the chat for a second. <laughs> Tickle Bits, what did he play through the other night? This. Yes, it's quite good still. So. Can I go? Oh no. I want to get that thing. What are we doing here? Oh, what? Are, I'm an idiot! I am off! Is it the way you're looking? No, it's it rotates around. Okay, so maybe now. Damn it! You know what? Let's just do this. You know what? Wait, I just said I like the levels. Why would I waste a P-Wing on it? Okay. I am hungry. It's true. Let's get rid of this frog suit. Well, that's what I said I was doing, so... Who's the liar now? Don't think about that. Oh, no. Are we okay? something if you ride the special one all the way up. God, this is a nightmare. That doesn't do anything for me. <sighs> Crossfit. Okay. Top level one. It might be P Wing time. Let's go dinner. Pop eyes. Let's just keep bringing this up. Wait, no. Oh, wait, you can't. Hell yeah. Good choice. Manning, thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Let's get some stuff. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. You're not going anywhere. Do I want to go into that pipe? Probably not. Alright. Ah, uh, I see what's going on. Okay. I hold the run button all the time. All the time. Or is this gonna, yeah, okay. Easy. Oh, I'm getting greedy. Why am I doing this? The raccoon tail. blow it.
one. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get the worst eight tonight. That's a rough one. All right. Where is that Popeyes? I heard Bunk coming down the hall. Let me see if she left it. Mario music totally holds up. Yeah. And fire couldn't hurt. Toad houses where the, uh, the fire looks like the boogers. I think it is. Have you played it before, Susa? Oh, yeah. Let's go to town. Oh, it's this one. I like this one. Is a, a fun gimmick level. Oof. What is the right way to do that? Did we facing the other way? Times of the essence. Oh no, that's not good. Blocking the left side. Okay. This doesn't count for one. I always forget. Mm -mm. Okay, feels like a bad Mario Maker level. I can see it. Looks weird. Just looks weird. Look at Mario. Look at Toad. It ain't right. It's like the it's like the plot of uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day being the right height of the table, huh? Do you guys want me to stop playing Mario and play Conqueror's Bad Fur Day? I, mean, I can do that. Wow, crater. Peepo. Oh yeah. or something. I really like Kribo Shoe a lot. song says you might want to shorten one of the next two Mario 3 loops. I think we might have less than three loops left in total. 18 total from the beginning of the stream. Interesting. What would you suggest, Idle Songs? Anything numbers with Idle Songs, I just fully trust your, your thoughts over mine. That's what you want. <laughs> I aim for variety. Uh, I've heard the term variety streamer, and I take that as sometimes be really good at Mario and sometimes be an idiot. 18 is do Oh, the hand trap levels? No, 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 no. Do those count? The hand trap levels, do those count? Susa, thank you. Great. Is that three here? Ah, uh, the hand trap levels. I just remember how much, like, World 8 scared me as a kid. Bad stuff going on there. Oh, this is a weird one, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the song's here. Yeah, I learned a lot about space. Namely, it's big? Definitely learned that much. I think this is not what I want. That's right. Okay. I believe I remember how to do this. Okay, the side. The master, hello. I, I have your VHS here. Showed it off at the beginning. Oh. Um, gravity. Uh, I can imagine gravity will be covered on, on Back to School. I'm an expert already. I mean, with being a variety streamer, is sometimes you, um... Alright, that's five, right? Is that five? I think it's five. Yeah. Okay, this seems like shit already. Let's find how air conditioning works. Absolutely not. It takes a lot of power. This sucks. Good choice. I hate this. This sucks bad. Goof, thank you so much. Oh, come on now. What are we doing here, folks? <laughs> Mario's good. many individual power-ups or items that give me as much nostalgia and good feelings as the leaf floating down. And it's also just so fun to use. That's probably like the all-timer power-up for me, I would say. Oh, that sucks. It just, that doesn't feel good. No! Not boom boom like this. That sucks. Don't do anything stupid. Oh! Oh. Jeez. Oh. Good choice. Ranking of power ups. I did that on uh Game Informer back in the day. I don't know if that's still up. I know the like personal blogs when they changed the site over, like they lost all those like user blogs and, and things like that. So I don't know if it's available anywhere. But um, yeah, I wrote a ranking the top ten Mario power ups. I think I just played Galaxy Two and I ranked the cloud pretty high up. Okay. So wait, should I stop doing these? Oh, this level. This seems like a star level. This is a star level. It's five. Go to the end of world seven. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Good idea. Worst power up? Um, I'm I'm not big on the. Uh, there's probably worse ones. There's almost certainly worse ones. But the first one that came to mind was the uh, like the. 
think some of the like propeller hat stuff or some of the stuff in like two where it's just like you get coins while you run. Like it didn't really do anything for me. The cherries are great. I love that. Okay. Let's just look up here. Poison mushroom is maybe a power up. That's a level? That's a level, right? I like the bee. The bee's fun. Okay, so we're gonna finish this one. The spring! The spring in Galaxy 1! That's a real contender for the worst one. Agreed. Frog suit on land, that's up there. The spring. Oh, those Amazon dash buttons, right. I haven't thought about those in forever. I had one for Slim Jims. And I put it, uh, I put my Amazon dash button for Slim Jims on my, uh, Randy Savage painting. And so I could just go up to it and press the button and Slim Jims would get delivered. You should. If you are able to get those nuggets, you should. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be getting some stuff tomorrow night as well. Uh, and I will get Popeyes tomorrow night. Not on stream. It's uh, Bonk and I, when we watch certain things, order fast food for ourselves. And tomorrow is one of such things. From, is that from Taco Bell? Nope, it's my dad texting me that it's too hot. <laughs> Can everyone tweet at Paul Reichert and ask if it's too hot? <laughs> He's drinking at the lake right now and he'll be very confused why a bunch of people are asking if it's too hot. <laughs> he sends me that update very frequently. Uh, from across the country in the summer. Sometimes not in the summer, too. All right, here we go. Oh, no. It's not like this. Ludwig! No! Not like this. Oh! Four P wings. Let me test. Let me see if we can. Ooh, I jumped. Man, I like playing old video games. It's always fun. I've played this game a million times. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Three sips of beer and I started yelling about old video games. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Thank you, Kirby. <sighs> to be fair, I haven't eaten much of anything today in uh, preparation for food that didn't come, but we're replacing it. Thank you, everyone who's tweeting at my father. <laughs> he has this reaction every time I tweet about him. If I'm around him, I'll always see him look down and he sees like 40 notifications. And I was like, oh god, what do you do? So I guarantee he said that out loud. <laughs> when he see, I saw that. <sighs> this, this feels much better. It seems like a good use of a P Wing to me. It's better old video games or new video games? You can't put that on me. 
I, 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 I don't know how to answer that. There's a... There's not. There's not an answer. I can't, it, it's all great. It's all great. I think maybe old ones are more replayable for me. But again, that's probably just nostalgia. So does that even count? You know. I'm sure, you know, somebody who was a kid today, you know, in 20 years, they're going to be like, Roblox is the most replay replayable game of all time. When does a new video game become an old video game? Uh, when I was a kid when I played it. That's how you know it's old. It's all just focused around my personal experience. I, uh, I beat 12 minutes this morning. I am not going to say anything about it, because that seems like a very uh, easily spoiled video game. And uh, But I would like to... Uh, I hope that Mike or Mary finish it, because I would like to have a very spoiler-heavy conversation on the next Fire Escape cast about it. I will say I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, no, no, I agree. It's It's... Janky at times, but considering how many moving parts there are, I almost would have expected it to be more janky than it is, you know? It took me just under six hours to beat it. And I have no uh, affinity for uh, point-and-click adventures or anything like that. And I... Oh, shit. I really liked it. Oh! Okay. Let's do it. P wings. I'm gonna use those and cheese dick my way through this. This whole world stressed me the fuck out as a kid. Ooh. I talk like this, this far away. Is this, uh, can you hear me? Like, I mean, is this, like, okay? Like, this this volume? I still always kind of feel the need to get up on it, but maybe. I should do this, if this works. the one let me see if this works it seems like 
can remember cheese dick in this. Good. My foot's asleep. And I ate so many nacho fries, my foot fell asleep. See, common wisdom would tell you you shouldn't jump in that red right liquid. This is maybe the most effective, ominous final world in a, let's say, Mario or platformer, but maybe just like a game. I always thought it was very ominous. tendonitis shit and everything in my elbows because like I've done this whole pandemic streaming with like my elbows propped up on and even the uh, even this is the thing so my elbows are like this the whole time and you know repetitive motion and all that stuff so I'm trying to keep them down in my lap a little more exciting stuff but yes get to worry about tendonitis and things as I get older is, everything's hurting knees are hurting uh, elbows are hurting Physical the other day. Wait, no, oh, I was called today for the results. Shit. Okay, this seems like a good choice to have for this. Bob's discount furniture in uh, Kansas as well. Boom Boom's dead. Oh god, here we go. Okay. There it is. Store was in okay. It's green. Weird. Weird. I still haven't used a Hammer Brothers suit. I overwrote one. Do I just have the one? Got a Tanuki. I got a hammer. One Tanuki, one hammer. Okay. I gotta use those by the end. It's so creepy. I always love testing to see, like, oh, is there any way I could build up enough speed to fly in this section? Not necessarily this one, but just a section, you know? Is it Uber Eats again? No. Okay. Easy! What if there's a 2D Mario with Cappy? That'd be cool. That would be a cool Mario Maker thing, is a Cappy power-up where 
you could take over 2D enemies and stuff. That'd be fun. Good, uh, good question, Intermet. <clears throat> I'm not legally obligated, I think, to do these, but I'm doing them. WarioWare. I mean, it's got that wrinkle on it with the characters, but it's cool, you know? He thought the Hammer Bros suit was fake. That's great. No, it's rare. It's just rare. I figure out which level I want to use it for. Oh, God. This is going to be a fucking pee wing You know, back in the day when you would rate, rank the uh, okay, controls of a game, you know, you'd give a score to the, the controls and everything. This is the best traditional, like, controlling game, or er, series, I mean, of all time. Let's try it. Anything? Are you going to keep going? Okay. Let's suspect. Okay. Eh. Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk is way up there, piston. That's like, it's like A and B. Yes! Who needs a P-Wing? Not I! Hell yeah. Okay. Can we get a run going here? Fucking Mario! I don't think we can get a good run going here. Cool looking level. I don't like this. Hmm. Hmm. Legit. Saved those P wings. Unknown. I'll see ya. Get some sleep. Thanks for stopping by tonight.
fact that I remember this level... Yeah, okay, that's why. Okay. I was gonna say, for a level this late in the game, for me to have a pretty clear memory of, it means I've played it more... Did I save? Did I not save? Well, that's a waste of a... Eh, I guess it's not that bad. But I did it right. Let's try this. Warp whistles are for children. I used it when I was a child. I'm a man, I'm a man now. A, a big boy. that shits out kids. Okay. Is there some weird wind thing there? Because I literally was like, l let go of... That was... That was weird. I wasn't pressing anything. I don't know if that was some drift shit. I feel like, you know, I'm not one to make excuses for, for a simple death like that. There was something funky going on there. Sun. Or kill the sun. Oh man. What a crazy feeling. It's so rare that you get to use this. time yet, but who's to say? This is... I thought this would be to go back. Dragon, thank you too. Be better in the world, my goodness. Good choice. Thank you again for everyone using these Prime subscriptions. What? What did I just do? Did I save? I don't know if I saved.
This maze shit in uh in three. about this one. Everyone's saying mom mom. Here we go. Well, I mean if I got oh, P wings. See ya. Why you save them up, kids? Still feels good. Could use P Wing for the final castle. Uh, helpful it will be. Good dumb thing. Thank you, deep sea proctologist. I have to get some goddamn eardrops put in my ear that I have to five minutes, five minutes each way. And I fucked up my ears by not doing it right the first time and doing it twice a day like I was supposed to, so they hurt. Uh, it's very exciting stuff. Um, so, after I beat Mario 3, is it insane to have a ten minute intermission? Remember I used to take the dogs out all the time? That would take ten minutes. Uh, and then I'll come back, you know, I'll, I'll use the ten minutes to... to 
focus myself for the lost levels and come back. business. Game Informer Super Replays, that there is... Oh shit, that kills fire? Oh, shit, whatever. It's like right here, or here. Yeah. Oh, it's a one-up, that's right. That's right. Probably not clear here, but that's all like zeros and ones and stuff, but you can kind of see Mario sprites and everything. I don't know how concerned I should be about that. It says for a fun bit, crouch on that one up box. I, I, don't, I can't right now. Gear of reporting. It's this Smashly. Rating with a party of five. Thank you so much, Smashly. Welcome.
very here. Same system. <laughs> oh. Oh, really, Tickle Bits, in a way that breaks the game? Great, look at these credits. This is excellent. Oh, this, is, this is some top notch credits here. Look at this. That's 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 a new sprite they made for the credits. Mario swimming like that? Man. Nintendo, huh? That's a new sprite. Hell yeah. Hell yeah to the Hammer Rose suit, not, not by plan necessarily. says, Mario 2 is a dream, Mario 3 is a stage play, what was Super Mario 1? Real life. <laughs> 